Hey there everyone, Lori McLean here. Welcome to another episode of RA Raw. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe out there. In this episode of RA Raw, I'm gonna be exploring the connection between vibration and inflammation, and more specifically, how your thoughts can help to either raise or lower your inflammation rate. First though, you need to take care of a little housekeeping. <laughs> From now, until the end of May, I am offering 15% off on all RA Raw merchandise over on Teespring. All you have to do is enter the code STAY HOME at the checkout and you'll get your 15% off. So now, without further ado, let's explore vibration, energy, and frequency and how they affect your rheumatoid arthritis. So, first, in order to understand how they all work, we need to talk about energy. This one is really easy, guys. Everything is energy, literally everything. Whether it be a chair, a table, a plant, a human, we all have energy. And everything in our existence is part of an interconnected web of electromagnetic vibration frequency. This web of energy is commonly referred to as the life force or spirit that connects a stream of consciousness between all atoms and particles in the universe. Second, we need to explore vibration. Now, vibration refers to the oscillation and movement of atoms caused by energy. Even solid objects like tables are made up of microscopic vibrating atoms that receive, store, and emit energy. Pretty cool, right? Because of this, all humans and objects have an energy field that emits its own vibrational frequency. Frequency is measured in Hertz units and is the rate at which vibrations and oscillations occur. So, an atom that is vibrating at a higher rate would be considered to have a higher frequency than one that's vibrating at a slower rate. Differentiating between high and low frequency is important for understanding how the two interact with each other and how they can be detrimental or beneficial to your health. So, how does vibration and frequency affect your well-being? So humans, like everything else in the universe, have an optimal frequency. Mr. Bruce Tanio discovered that a healthy body resonates at a rate of 62 to 70 megahertz. And when your frequency drops to 58 megahertz, that is when disease and illness start. So bacteria, viruses, disease, each have their own low frequency. And this influences your energy field. Now, this is the key thing for warriors. As our frequency drops, your immune system becomes compromised and opportunistic bacteria and viruses are able to wreak havoc on your body, which in turn makes you susceptible to disease and sickness. Ideally, you want to be a high vibrational being to attain peak health and wellness. So let's discuss how your thoughts can raise and lower your vibration, as well as what you can do right now to raise your vibration. Let's start by taking a close look at the information we're consuming right now. During this worldwide pandemic, we are literally inundated with constant updates showing the latest infection and death rates. We are seldom receiving the number of recovered individuals, which is something we desperately need to hear in order to stay positive and vibrate at a higher rate. So to counteract this, I suggest limiting your intake of news. You know, in the beginning of this outbreak, I was listening to every update. I was watching as much as I could about COVID-19 and making sure I truly understood the precautions I needed to take. I would wake up in the morning and start my day with news, which was good. I needed to know what was happening in the world. However, I began to feel my mind and my mood decline. Depression settled in and I entered into this vortex of negativity. It is really important to stay informed 
but it is also as equally important to continue living and experiencing the good things in life. I am more aware now of the information I consume and how much I'm taking in. I turned off the notifications I was receiving from news organizations on my phone and, and now I make a concerted effort to take in happy, healthy information as well. But I want you to understand, I'm not saying to stop being informed during this, during this time, but rather limit that intake to once a day or even a few times a week. If there's something extremely important going on in the world, you will find out. So in the description below, I have listed some great online sources where you can get content that will lift your spirit and begin to raise your vibration. The next thing that you need to focus on is really taking a look at the toxic people that are in your circle and working on eliminating those. So these individuals are the ones that turn your thoughts negative. You know, the type of people that leave you feeling depressed, sad, and angry, perhaps irritated after an interaction with them. They often dwell on the negative aspects of life and feel best when you begin to vibrate at a low frequency, just like them. So take a look at the people you're interacting with on a daily basis and determine if there is anyone that is bringing you down. Just as important as getting rid of those negative people is bringing those really positive people closer to you. If there is an old friend that always makes you feel happy and makes you smile, be sure to contact them more frequently. Find the people that make you happy and raise your vibration. One of the things I've recently started doing is using Zoom to connect with my family and friends at least once a week. There's something so important and valuable about actually looking at a person face to face. I've noticed that there's also book clubs meeting via Zoom or other group chats. As well, mental health groups are also meeting this way. So go ahead and look at incorporating this into your life as well. Continuing with the exploration of what you consume audibly, I suggest listening to music as often as you can. I've spoken in the past about how music really, really helped me growing up and continues to be my safe and happy place. So find music that lifts your spirit, makes you wanna move and inspires you. For a few years now, I've had a playlist over on Spotify called Raw Jams. It's it's a mix of all types of music, all genres, and contains songs that I've found make my soul happy, and I'm sure they'll do the same for you. So after this video, head on over to Spotify. I've put the link in the description below. Head on over to Spotify and click follow on that playlist. I'm adding songs to that list all the time. Well, everyone, on that note, I'm gonna conclude this episode of RA Raw but I'm going to be looking into this further and offering you ideas in upcoming videos about how you can raise your vibration and bring that inflammation down. Remember, our thoughts influence our whole body. Everybody take care, stay safe, remember to wash your hands, and I'll see you next time on Iron Rock. Bye for now.